This is an article in Electronica Wereld, Electronics World, from September 1963. And they describe a transistor voltmeter. Well, that's very interesting. And nowadays, in 2017, you can also uh, make such a circuit. Here is a drawing. These drawings were very popular in the 1960s and 1950s. But the schematic is, in my opinion, more interesting. And here is that schematic. A germanium transistor here. At its input, a range of high resistive resistors. Here, 15 mega ohm, 7.5 mega ohm, 1.5 mega ohm, 750 kilo ohms, and 150 kilo ohms. And here's the transistor, and the whole issue is simple. A voltage applied to the base here makes a current flowing, and the current is detected with the microparameter. The resistor here bridges that microparameter so that you can set it to its sensitivity. Here is a 100k resistor, and it's switched here with the help of two 1.5 volt batteries. And with that uh, resistor potentiometer, you can null out the meter. So I think an interesting circuit for everyone that wants to make uh, measurement equipment and um, well, that's all to tell. They also made it suitable to um, detect and measure AC, I don't think that's very important, and ohms resistances, but nowadays uh, we have good multimeters that can measure the ohms resistance very properly. So, in my opinion, the interesting thing is here, the voltmeter with its extremely high impedance at its input. I want to show the Dutch text for all the people that can read Dutch. The OC71 germanium transistor was a kind of a, a, a germanium transistor for all purposes. So you can um, also use other germanium transistors and their amplification factor must be, in my opinion, approximately 30 or so, perhaps 50.